Hi, welcome to this tutorial on the Hugin Graphical User Interface. The tutorial will demonstrate uh, how to use dynamic Bayesian networks in Hugin. In the tutorial, we are going to use the example of STAMP from 2018. This is the tree growth rings uh, example. Assume we want to determine the average annual temperature at a specific location over a sequence of years. We want to use indirect evidence on the temperatures by observing the rings of our favorite tree. Assume we only consider two temperatures, cold and hot. The probability that a hot year is followed by a hot year is 70%, while the probability that a cold year is followed by a cold year is 60%. We assume there is a correlation between the size of the tree growth rings and the average annual temperature. We will consider uh, three sizes of the rings, small, medium and large rings. We will assume the conditional probability of ring size given temperature is as shown here in the, in the matrix. And we will assume the initial state distribution is 60. 40 for a cold and hot year, respectively. Now we're going to build the dynamic Bayesian network for the tree growth rings uh, example. We want to have a variable representing the uh, annual temperature. So we uh, first create a discrete chance node. We rename the, the node such that it has a name annual uh, temperature. Annual temperature will be uh, represented uh, using two states, which can be uh, cold and uh, hot. So we'll open the table and uh, rename the, the states to have two states, cold uh, year and hot year. Next, we're going to monitor the uh, uh, annual uh, temperature using indirect evidence on a uh, tree growth ring size. So we create a new variable. And we want to rename this one such that it has a uh, ring size as a uh, name. We want it to have uh, three states representing the possible sizes, which were small, medium, and large. We had a, a directed uh, edge between annual temperature and uh, ring size. So now we have uh, the part of the model that uh, captures a, a single year. But we also want to reflect that the annual, annual temperature one year depends on the annual uh, temperature the previous year. So what we do in order to create the dynamic uh, Bayesian network, we create a number of uh, temporal clones. In this example, we will only have a, a single uh, temporal clone. So the note we want to clone, we select, right click, and then select the option create a temporal clone. This will create a new node, which uh, looks a little bit different uh, from the other nodes, such that we can see it's a temporal clone. This is the temporal clone, and this is the, what we call the, the master node. So the temporal clone represents the master node at the previous uh, time step. We want to link the nodes, such that we add an edge from a uh, previous uh, annual temperature to the, the present uh, annual temperature. Now we have uh, the structure uh, of our model. The temporal part comes from the use of temporal clones. We want to uh, define the conditional probability tables of the nodes. So the initial um, distribution for the temporal clone for annual temperature was this uh, 60, 40. So we simply type here 0. Dot six and uh, 0 0.4. Next, like uh, we have to define the transition matrix or the transition conditional probability table from one time step to the next. And here it is such that uh, a hot year is followed by a hot year with 70% uh, while a cold year is followed by a cold year with 60%. So this means this number here should be uh, 60, 40, 
and here uh, 30, 70. So 60% that a cold year is followed by a cold year and 70% that a hot year is followed by a hot year. Then we need the observation distribution of ring size given uh, annual temperature. So the ring size is a condition on the, on the temperature. Here we have the distribution for annual temperature equal cold. And that is this distribution here, 70, 20, 10. So we just write it in here, 70, 20, and 10%. Next, we need the other part of the matrix here, uh, 10, 40, and 50%. So 10, 40, and 50%. Now we have uh, defined the structure and the conditional probability distributions of the nodes. What remains is to define how many time steps we want in our time window. So we do that by uh, right-clicking here and opening uh, Network Properties. Under the uh, DBN tab, we can define the number of time slices. So here, by default, it's uh, 5. If you want 10, you simply change 5 to 10. So let's leave it at 5. So this corresponds to having five time steps in our time window. If we compile the model, we can see here we have T1 up to T5. So these are the five time steps. And then we have the initial state uh, of the system defined as the prior distribution on the temporal clones here, uh, T0, which contains annual temperature. We can unfold here the different time steps, and we can see that we have the same two nodes in each time step. And if we observe uh, in one year T1, for instance, the ring size to be a medium, then it's a 68% chance it was uh, hot that year, and the probability that the, the following year was hot was uh, or is uh, 60%. If you want to remove the evidence, you press this button. And if you want to go back and uh, adjust the model, you press uh, the pencil to go to edit mode. This ends the tutorial. If you want to watch or read other tutorials on the Hugin software, then you are more than welcome to visit our website, www.hugin.com.